Howdy folks, just wanted to come to y'all today. Uh, I, I ain't going to be able to get out and do a whole lot of airhead hunting um, till later in the winter here. And just kind of wanted to show y'all a little bit of some stuff I've got here. I'll do a video when I ain't going airhead hunting of certain items in my collection. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of bone today. And I'll have some, uh, some more bone and stuff in another video. But, uh... Just kind of give you a glimpse of some of the stuff I've found over the years. I've been collecting about 35, 37 years. And I uh, have it always collected in Tennessee. Uh, a lot of this stuff right here is from another state where I lived for, well, shoot, about 30, 32 years before I come back up here. Um, here's a piece of deer antler. Pinned it. Been drilled. Another little piece of deer antler. I don't know if that hole's gonna show up good there. You can see the the marks from where it's been drilled right in the edge of that piece of deer antler. I don't exactly know what that was. It looks like it's been busted off there at one time or another. Um, it does have a slight groove at the top there. I don't know if it was appended or or what that was. Um, I believe this is an atlatl spur. That's what it looks like to me anyways. Shark's tooth. Um, it's been busted, but it's been drilled right at the top there. Typically on most of the, these I've seen, the root would have come on over here like this and it would have, have possibly had two holes in it. A lot of them I've seen that are whole or like that, but I was able to find both pieces of this and I glued it back together right there, but I never could find that other piece. And here's a neat little old bone tool of some sort. It may have been a needle got a nice little groove at the top right here point here but it's not drilled or nothing just a little bone all there deer antler tip it's been scored cut off I don't know if it was used as a tip or just a toe give you a little example here some deer antler that i found at the same site where i found most of this stuff you can see if you look there it's been scored around the edge yeah, this little camera ain't doing good but see if i can get in there well, it's been scored and snapped off they used a lot of them Deer antler tines, and I ain't probably telling you there's nothing you don't already know, but they used them a lot for flaking tools and different stuff. Here's another chunk of deer antler. Been scored and broke. I've got boot coodles of this stuff here. Got some bigger pieces too I'll show you in another, another time. There's the top part of an antler, or the main beam, where one of the tines was coming off. It's been scored. Probably, you know, I'm sure they used flint scored it and then snapped the tines off. And this here's a big old hairpin. I call this one a hairpin because of the length of it. But the tip was snapped off of it when I found it. I mean, it could have been used for a flaking tool or a bone awl, but a lot of these big ones like this, I think were more hairpins. And I won't bore you too much with some of this broken stuff. This one here's been broke off. You can see the polish on that one right there. It's real high polished. Um, a couple others there that the back end's been broke off of them 
bone pins, hair pins, whatever you want to call them. Here's another one I found. It was broke right there and the rest of it was missing. Couldn't find it. And then here's a few more bone awls, bone pins. Um, this one here, I would say, I want you to look at the polish on that one there, how it flares at the back end there. Real nice piece. It was where I was finding this stuff at. It was real mucky, uh, real tough soil. And I snapped this when I found it, trying to get it out of the ground. But you can see the length of that. I mean, it's, there's my hand in it. Here's a piece of shell of some sort. I believe it's the center out of a cone. Let's see if I can get that to where it'll focus. But I've seen some of these in the past. They would have been drilled on both ends like that right there. You can see the drill marks in there if I can hold my hand still. And it had been drilled in both ends. And this one here must have busted out on them. And then what they would have done after it was drilled in both ends is it would have been drilled in two spots here to connect with the holes and it had been wore as a pendant. Couple other nice bone pins there. Another one here, I, unfortunately getting a lot of these out of the ground where I was finding them, I would break a lot of them and I was trying to be as careful as I could be. That one was broke there. Here's another one. Now this one was found in the water. This one was not found in the mud. It was found buried in some water and you can see the high polish on it. But it was, got broke also. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll, every week that I can't go airhead hunting or something, I'll try to get some of my stuff out and do a quick little video like this and see if y'all like it. If y'all do, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you do, I'll keep doing this until I get back to hunting points. And uh, hopefully y'all like some of this stuff and some of you might like seeing the flint more than you like seeing the bone, but we'll get to that later too. Um, just want to say thank y'all for watching and and uh, everything y'all do, it, it, it humbles me that folks out there are watching old, old country folk like me talk about airheads and hunt airheads. I want to say God bless to all y'all. God bless this nation and just be kind to folks. Then weep not, friends, I'm going.